It almost looks like an old ant hill. That didn't sound good. Oh! oh! This is 15 cc's of fury. On today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we're doing something we've never done before. A Honda Ruckus. So I picked up this bike two years ago and I was told that the engine is stuck. Now, the idea of this is having a running and riding bike back by the end of this episode. So, uh, we're gonna keep it 50cc just for now, but I think the ultimate goal is a big massive engine on the back of this thing. There's a lot of flashy Honda Ruckuses out there that are so cool. Uh, massive engine, little bike, party time. That's what I think we're gonna do. So, uh, Charles, let's get this thing checked out and figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, it is negative. Bo bone dry. It's pretty dry, man. Oh boy, that's not good. Let's check the coolant. Yes, it has coolant. Like, oh, this is a liquid cool. This is a liquid cool. Wait a minute. I gotta take that cover off before it'll even let me check the fluid. That's a bummer. What is that? I guess they didn't want you accidentally kicking that cap off. I guess. All right, okay. the story that I was told was a bunch of kids were riding this bike and uh, they possibly ran it out of oil, but my friend, she wasn't sure 100%. So all I know is the engine appears to be locked up. Uh, and that's all the story I really know about it. It was free, which is a plus, especially if you got to replace the engine. Um, I don't know a whole lot about these little GY6s. We've only done a couple of episodes on GY6 stuff here. Uh, Pugly was one of them. And the... GY6 Yurf Dog. The Yurf Dog GY6, yep. And I think that's it. That's it. All right, well, I, I see why they have this guard on here. Once you yeah. remove that, that is exposed oh man you know the carburetor boot is off it's just exposed to the elements oh it's here okay can you oh, oh we'll, we'll, be, we'll be seeing oh, it here in a second i see it so i'm yeah. gonna go ahead and remove this seat bracket and everything and remove this plastic guard and that'll give us more access to the engine Look at that. Oh man. Dude. Now you can stand up and ride it. Oh, do I have to remove the whole floorboard? Oh gosh, I gotta remove the whole floorboard. I've never taken one of these apart before. Neither have I. Oh, so that gives us access to the fuel tank. Oh, cool. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. So there's the fuel tank. And then there's there the carburetor. Any, is there anything in it? Oh yeah. Ugh, that's bad. Well, the cool thing is we'll be able to disconnect it and empty it out. Yeah. All right. You might need the key. I need the key. Yeah. It's a good thing there's one provided. Oh, and it's really it's bent. A slight bend to it. You uh -oh. might need, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's then, loop that up. Yeah. Okay, so this, this is what we were talking about how the carburetor boot has been off. Oh yeah, and the cable tightening up right there at that point. Oh, so, the, oh, oh there we go. hey, you there got it, it to move. You got it to move, but it's still it's it's stuck, stuck it's open, stuck. right? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's lube all of that stuff up. Well, I'll just let it soak. Okay. And I'm gonna start next by pulling the spark plug. How bad is it? It looks like there's a lot of oil. Oh. Uh, I mean, I know I sprayed blaster in there, but I... There's no way it got that down in there that fast. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so. Uh, you know what? I've got a uh, bore scope here, so let's just kind of peer into the uh, yeah. cylinder. Maybe that's where all the oil went. Oh, is that the piston? Oh, I see the valve down below. Oh, okay, yeah, the, the, that's the little round thing. That's got to be the piston. The head of the piston right there. That's got to be the piston. Uh, it's kind of up. Okay. 
So, I don't know, maybe I'll try kicking it over a little bit more. Spray some stuff down in there. You know, there could be a problem with the kickstart. Okay. Do so you want to go ahead and pull that radiator off and get to the flywheel? I think I'm gonna pull the radiator out of the way and get down to the flywheel and just manually turn it over. Oh yeah, that thing's uh yeah. There's quite nice. a bit. Of, there's quite a bit of mud packed. I bet that air box is uh oh no. <laughs> It's yeah. kind of heavy. Oh boy. I bet if there's an air filter in there, it's probably it's probably waterlogged. I think they went off-roading a couple times. Well, and it's been sitting too. It almost looks like an old anthill. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That would be a dowel pin. Are you okay? Yeah. Right. Oh my goodness. Look at that. How much Debra's in there? Oh. So there is a, that is the GY6 CVT. Yeah, right here. See, it still wants to move. The belt looks decent. Doesn't look like they messed it up. I'm gonna find a socket to fit that and I'm gonna try to rock that engine back and forth. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with putting any oil in it right now because it's not like the crankshaft has dipped in it. No, and you've got PB in the cylinder. I got PB in the cylinder, but so, if they ran it without oil, that means the crankshaft might be seized. Might be seized, and no amount of oil you put in the oil you put in the cylinder is going to help. Yeah. So, oh boy! There's no movement on that at all. Hold oh. on! Oh! What? What? Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh wait, hold on. That's the flywheel over here. That's the flywheel? Yeah. Rusty. Yeah, the, the, the flywheel's got some rust on it, so. I don't know, that might be the cylinder. Sounds like, sounds like. Sounds like victory to me. Since we just got it freed up, we really don't want to spin it over anymore without any oil in the crankcase. So we're gonna go ahead and add some. And this does not have to be motorcycle oil. Thank goodness. I'm wondering, how much should I put in here first? I don't know. Like half, maybe half a Go with half a quart. Okay. I think in this case, having it over full is probably okay. Not not like, oh my God, over full, but. I should have got a bigger funnel. <laughs> Just to explain, I was so confident that this thing was a total piece of junk. We went ahead and picked up another engine for this thing. <laughs> so but, but We don't really know the condition of that engine either because it's missing about I'd say about 60% of it. Yeah, and so, uh, but I only gave 40 bucks for it. Yep. So, and, and we got the whole rolling assembly for it right here. So I came prepared. I was ready for this engine to be total junk because I was told that uh, some kids were riding it and they ran it out of oil. And they clearly rode it hard. And uh, I heard that there was probably a hole in the case oh boy all right so, i'm getting excited i am too let's uh let me go find some starting fluid all right so since this thing is freed up now it's like butter dude let's uh get a good look inside the cylinder i want to see what kind of shape it's in i'm a little worried because it doesn't feel like a lot of compression but i do know that it's a 50 cc so there's the top of the piston oh there's a valve opening that's going to be the intake valve it looks good Oh, look Closing. how shiny that cylinder is. Do you see any cross hatching? I, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's the exhaust valve. Hey. Oh, yeah. Four stroke. Let me, let me get this thing down more and I'll uh, zoom in or try something. to. Yeah, I'll zoom in. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I see some pitting, but it's not, it doesn't look terrible. We've ran worse. Oh, definitely. All right. I remember you guys had a had a Honda clone with chunks missing out of the cylinder wall. And it was wall. still running. And it still ran. Yeah. All right, so we'll get the spark plug in. And uh, I am going to uh, give it a little hot sauce. Key is Okay, on. key's on. Yep. So I mean. Go ahead and do it. Let's see if it'll do it. Go for it. <laughs> Nothing. Huh. Oh, 
down. So I don't think we're spinning this engine fast enough for the charging system to create enough power to power the power power the coil because uh, it, it sounds like it's not spinning fast enough so we're gonna look into the battery and putting a fresh battery in it or at least putting a battery charger to it and getting some power going into this thing and I bet you that's gonna get us going what we have figured out I googled it the battery box is right there so we've got to, I guess, pull this kick panel off or knee guard. I don't know what to call it. That's the dash, dude. The dash. We got to pull the dash apart. That's right. Look at that. And it's got the, like, Honda wing right there. That's pretty cool. Missing a screw. I mean, we don't get to work on a lot of Hondas. Not really. A lot of Honda clones. Yeah. So. Oh. Hey, it slipped right around it. Look nice. at that. Ooh, that's, a, that. big, that's a bigger that's a, battery than I that's thought. That's a big battery. Oh, and there's that piece that fell out that you were like, yeah, boom. Right yeah, there. when I found this, that's how I knew that there was a battery because it's a plus, fuses, and all that yeah. stuff. So We might have a battery that size. We might, yeah. All right, let's check into it, man. Let's go into the other building and see what we got see what we got so this thing has been charging for well over an hour the battery is nice and hot it definitely has some sort of, yeah it's hot yeah it has definitely has some voltage to it so i say we hook up the or we'll just show the example of the the spark working at lower rpms just to prove a point no, no, there we go Low oh RPM. see look yeah at look that. at that gotta go there you go it's going to crank up this time. Yep. That's barely yep. moving. Yep. Okay. Well, I just didn't want to loosen the nut. I guess I was going tight. <laughs> you were going backwards. I was, you know. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, let's uh, put the spark plug back in. Yep. Add some hot sauce. Yeah, because I think what we already sprayed that, in there evaporated. Yeah, that... That is such a tiny little spark plug. And it's such a pain to thread in. <laughs> see the hot sauce yeah could be that uh like valves are not seated oh yeah that could be it all right just Ready? watch your eyes yep yep tried long enough yeah so it's not ignition it could be a compression thing mm -hmm. um that would require us pulling the head off i wonder if do these require valve adjustment i have no idea we might need to look that up let's look into it it could be that the valves are too yeah. tight yep. a little bit of research i found out that this thing has a shim or it has shims in it rather than uh, adjustable uh, rockers. So that's gonna... Literally there's a wear item in the valve train that when it gets slack, you have to replace it to make the valves yeah, so in spec again. It's what crazy. we'd have to do is replace a shim with a brand new shim, a certain size. And we don't have the kit, so of course, I'd, if it's out of spec, I'm gonna do it the cars and cameras way. You can actually stand on the shim, on on the side, uh, back side of the shim, mm -hmm. and get it thinner. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of pry on the valve cover here. Got some movement. It's glued on, of course. Okay. 
Well, we'll make a new gasket with some RTV if we yeah, got to. Yeah. That's no big deal. Yeah. But yeah, it but looks just like what we got in the video. That there's, I, I guess that's the time and chain on the cam, right? It's the time and chain, yeah. Okay. Cool. Here. So you gonna try and find TDC? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I've got like no, this vine is getting on my nerves. I don't seem to have enough compression. Dude. What's going on? There's like no uh, valve flash. Oh boy. Like it's, it's, well we saw them, we saw the motor move, or the cam moving the valves, but. Yeah, but it's not loose. It's holding the valve open. Oh, so we're getting leak down. Yeah. Okay. So the little bit of compression that we felt is mostly slipping past. Yep. Oh, great. Okay. Where's well, your little magnetic? Uh, that, hold on. Right here. This is one of, this is a mechanic's favorite tool. Okay. Oh, you got the shim out? Here's the shim here. Oh, so is that under the rock? So the shim so goes under the rocker arm on top of the valve spring? You just, you see how I moved it over? Yeah. Apparently, it's oh. just move it over. Goodness gracious, okay, interesting. Check this other one. So do you think that shim, oh, okay, well, interesting. That exhaust feels too tight. So, you know, I don't recommend doing this, but I'm going to try to spin this thing over. Without the shims? Without the shims, just to see if we. Hey, that's, just, that's probably gonna be some pretty tight valves. I mean, we're not gonna run it, so. We aren't. I mean, if it runs, it runs, but make our we own. We have the, uh, we got the feeler gauges. Not the feeler oh. gauges, but the, uh, the micrometers. Micrometer. Uh, it's in John's toolbox. I'll get it. We'll get it and we'll measure the exhaust and the intake and we'll see what they are. I might be able to take the exhaust and put it on the intake that and would then be just shave one. That would be cool. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's just see what see how see how out of spec they are. They're well, we know they're out of spec. We know they're out because I, I spun it over with the uh, shims in, and I had no resistance. Couldn't tell where where uh, top dead center is. Taking the shim out, and all of a sudden I have resistance. Once I had pressure on my finger, if I would have brought the piston all the way to the top, that would have been top dead center. Yep. Okay. I like your I like your way of looking at it without finding timing marks that's cool yeah yeah nice so um tech tip for mike yeah we really need a shim kit for the to do this job right but we're cars and cameras so these shims are used to go at the end of the valve stem and take up the space between the valve stem and the rocker arm most small engines that we mess with have a adjustment screw on the rocker where you can close the gap and open the gap just by turning a, a, a screw and a lock nut. This one has these shims. And the only way you can adjust these is by replacing them. Or doing it the wrong way, which is probably what we're gonna do. So uh, this intake one is 0 .0950. So 0 .09, so, what is that, nine thousandths? I'm not looking at it, I can't tell. Point oh nine. Yeah, that's in the thousandths, because the first zero is the hundredths. And then and then two zeros would be hundred thousandths. I think, <laughs> ten thousandths? It's, it's been so long since I've messed with it. Anyhow, yeah. it's point oh nine five inches. So let's check the exhaust. Point oh eight one five. Okay. So I'm gonna run the exhaust shim on the intake and hope that it's tight enough. Thin enough. Thin uh, enough, yeah. To get I wonder if they're all numbered differently in the kit. They are. Okay, that makes sense. Did I get it? We wow, that is something that you could really easily drop in. I have, yes, that's oh why I use the magnet. Gosh. I have. You have? I have clearance. All right. And it doesn't feel too bad. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Oh, God. What happened? I really need the, sh 
the feeler gauges with a nine. with the bend. Yeah, you can bend them. No, I won't. No, it's okay. This, this will be good enough. Okay. For for us running. All right. Because I can move it. Okay. Don't do what we do, kids. Sparks coming off the back. Now I need to slide this over. Lock her in. We really need to clean it up, but I f I feel like if we silicone it, we're just gonna have an excuse not to go back in it. Yep. And if we don't, and we have a leak, we're gonna want yeah. to do the valve job correctly. Absolutely. So we're just. Hey, bud, how's it going? You missed all the action. Did I? Yes, you have. You're probably, we were probably about five minutes out of hearing this thing run. Cool. So yeah. the valve cover's on. Now we're going to see what this thing will do. Can't wait. Probably got here got just the, in time. Uh, I got it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's it. That sounded so funny. <laughs> it almost did a burnout on the table. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. Man. Put her there. Mmm. Valve adjustment, baby. So let's work on getting the gas cap off. Yes. All right. And uh, emptying it out, getting some fresh gas in it, and uh, getting the exhaust back on it. Let's get the exhaust back. Yeah, on. I'll try and get that done. All right. I wish I would have watched you take this exhaust off. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, there we go. Man, things are about to get violent over here. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Are you just gonna drill? Uh. uh okay. I mean, it worked on my four wheeler, so. Oh my God! Oh, that is so bad, John. Oh my gosh. I don't. Where's the flashlight? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Forget the flashlight. You got a lighter? <laughs> Just burn it down. That's pretty Look. bad, guys. Oh. So I, I'm suspicious of this air box because it's like extremely heavy and it's really nasty. They were not nice to this bike. So let's see what's going on here. Oh boy. I don't. I don't know if that's supposed to be oil soaked. It's clogged slam up. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, why would the air filter be completely saturated in oil? Maybe it laid Lay down on the side. That's maybe that's why there was no oil in it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right. So the uh, fuel tank is in such poor shape that I'm going to clean it out the oh. best I can. Oh boy, that is so nasty. Why is there. it so wet under there? Is it leaking? I hope it doesn't have a hole in the tank. Like rust? Yeah. Oh. It is yeah. a steel tank. God. It's also, it's an 09. It's like. It's not that old. I know. Yeah. I mean, what is I mean, it? Your, your three wheelers from the, from the 80s looked about that bad in the tank. Exactly. Well, you know, it has been sitting in my backyard for a long time. Uh, you know, I, initially I thought two years. Nah, we were. Uh, is it leaking? Nope, hold on. I think we're okay. Maybe that was just surface rust, but. So uh, apparently it has been sitting for maybe four to five years in my backyard. I thought that was just surface rust. That's actually, so like when I. Oh, oh yeah, that's yep. definitely got a hole in it. Yeah. All right, so do we feel like repairing it or throwing a Predator fuel tank in this cavity here? Predator might fit. Trying to twist on the hose yeah, to get it to it break free, and it's. Oh just, yeah, you got. It. I think you got it twisted at the bottom. Really? Yeah. Um. Oh wait, I got it to move. You got it. Yeah. yeah. I was just about to push on it. Right. Yep. There you go. There's some fuel in there. Can. Oh, there's a 10 millimeter right yeah, there. I got you. That's nasty. Pretty gross. Yeah. I was just gonna put a new filter yeah. on it. There you go. There we go. Nice. Oh gosh. 
Uh, that's okay. Yeah, just fine. It's, it's stainless steel. All right, ready? Turn it back on. It's trying. Did it stop? So we filled that small bottle up with gasoline and we're trying to revive the fuel pump. Recycle it again. Yeah, you know what? It's designed to be used sideways, right? So maybe it's only going to pump if it's sideways. Or maybe not. All right, let's see what happens now. Oh, oh. God. Well, let's just um, give it a shot. Okay. Wait a minute, it's supposed to be down low. What, like the, the pump? The fuel is, right? Look at quitting him. Look at the uh, debris that's coming backwards out of the... Ew. Guys, I don't know if we can rely on this. Yeah. You know, maybe we just uh, mount a bottle on the back, on the oh, rack or something. Okay. Yeah. And run a fuel line down. It right. seems to be working intermittently. Yeah. Yeah. But if we got a. Un Why like is it flowing out? <laughs> <laughs> it got me. At least it was fresh gas. I'm okay with that. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, I don't think that pump's working. So. Uh, yeah. So we'll just, there's plenty of room under the seat for us to mount something. Mount a bottle. Okay. Yeah. And just, this fuel tank is just junk. Oh. Too. So yeah. the uh, fuel tank has some holes in it and it's very crusty on the inside. The fuel pump, we can't rely on the fuel pump. It works and then it doesn't work. So I think we're going to do the uh, good old Gatorade under the, the seat trick with the fuel line going to the carburetor. And uh, maybe we can do some uh, riding with that. I'm a little afraid of the carburetor because we haven't been through it yet. Mm -mm. And it didn't, ha it didn't have the... Bleh. The boot is a boot gone. That's pretty bad. Funny guy. So I'm going to hook up fuel to the carburetor, try some fuel in it, and try cranking this thing up. I love how we're just pretending like it's going to crank up. It's gonna crank up. Dude, it's a Honda. It's it, gonna. Yeah. It's gonna crank up, but we need to clean up all that gas underneath this thing. Oh boy, yeah. Keys on? Yeah. yeah. You want the starting fluid? Hot top. Okay. Do you think it doesn't have spark without the fuel pump plugged in? Know. What did you just... Level sensor? Yeah, the brake light just came on. It what? Yeah, I'm just trying to do it. Darn. I'm thinking that uh, the exhaust is plugged up. Let's take those... Uh, okay, let's take them back off to... Uh, Take them loose. Yeah. We, we lost spark and we think it might be because we've unplugged the level sensor and the fuel pump. Which so, would make no sense. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe. Unless, unless it needs a ground or something. I yeah, know. I don't know. All right, okay. ready? Keep keys on. All right, here we go. Oh. We got spark. We got spark. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Okay. Ready, sir? Yep. Here we go. ease on it and the belt engages it oh it burns a spot okay. in it it's better to spin the tire than mess up the belt all right let's try this again okay
We got something coming out of the muffler. Uh oh, he's gonna die. I think it's clogged. I think it's really clogged. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of airflow, fellas. Uh oh. I mean, it is a 50. No, no, it's the airflow, it ain't coming out. A little smoky, but not bad, man. Not bad. Cool. Alright. Yeah, it's got it's got a little air bubble, but no big. Oh, yeah. it's taking it, it's taking it. Yeah. Let's see, I unplug stuff and see what kills it. Not bad. Take that out. Try and plug it in. Yep. It'll still run. What? So when you unplug the fuel pump, it kills it? That's so odd. I don't know if it's gonna crank it. What? What? Uh, man. man, it don't make any sense to me. Here, turn off the battery charger. Turn it off? I'm gonna see if it's charging. Uh, don't let her die. Okay. Oh yeah, I wonder if we're causing an issue by having some of those open. Like that one right there. Look, that's a... look. Oh, so that does need... So if we plug that... Here, just put a bolt in it. Yeah, we'll be plug fine. that stuff up. I say we plug everything up, guys. Put it back together and go for a ride. I want to see if it'll do a burnout. Of course it'll do a Ike ran out to go buy a new battery, so Charles and I are gonna assemble this thing and hopefully by the time he gets back, we're gonna be ready for a ride. There you go. There we go. All right, I think all that's left is uh, pump up the tires, strap the fuel tank down, and finish the battery stuff. Sweet. All right. So we have air in the tires, we tighten up the brakes, we're ready for test drive. And I guess I'm the, the lucky victim today. Yeah, uh, yeah you are. Choke on the carburetor? Or just, it just I never up. saw a choke. There's, Give it a shot. Just squeeze that brake right there. Squeeze the right brake. The headlight work. The headlight work. It might be work. Wow. Wow. Make sure you hit the brake. Hit the brake. There we go. Thank you. That fuel pump. Yeah, it'll be alright. Yeah, it'll work out. <laughs> Rides a lot better than a three-person minibike. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Alright, fuel's all good. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. That actually doesn't look too bad. No, it looks manageable. It's still probably late though. Oh yeah, I'm sure. It's quiet. What is he doing? Oh, maybe my dog nervous. Did we finally have the first ever indoor Grand Prix? <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. That's hilarious. Oh, I'm getting sideways. Doing like 19 miles an hour. What? There's another moped. Go get it. Oh yeah, here we go. I've got him, buddy. Hey. I don't want to steal all the fun. Someone else want to give it a go? Sure. Time. Ah! It 
then later. <laughs> he crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Did he dump it over? He said he didn't lay it down, but I saw that thing go. You missed a good shot. That's all I gotta say. Anybody else want to have some fun? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. This is 15 cc's of fury. Laid it. it it was like laid down and I put my feet out and I just slid with the bike but that was kind of wide open boys <laughs> all right that's it all right 25 come on baby you can do better than that 30 miles an hour on the wet is not a good idea but I bet you he's up for a hot lap. What do you think? Oh my. Did it look that bad when I did it? I think we need to see a hot lap. Oh yeah. I think you're having fun. I actually really like it. This thing's actually pretty cool. It's like playful. It's, it's gutless. It's, it's playful. Yeah, it's the new uh, shock scooter. Yeah. All right, who wants to do the Grand Prix? All right, you look like you're having fun and you're going to be the fastest. Probably. So probably you. Right or ready. On your mark. Get set. Go. I think I can just follow him on foot. Very slick. Whoa! Nice save. Baby, keep on going. Man, that's wide open. I think this thing is like the most gutless thing we've got. What's he at? I'm gonna say there's about a. It's sitting good. He's already out. He's already over a minute. This slickered and gorilla snot out here. Whoa, even on this lane. Thank goodness for rocks. Whoa, jeez. Jesus. slowest thing is this is this even worth going on the leaderboard i'm not sure i'm I mean, just gonna make some room up here yeah i don't think you needed to to make some room up there all right what do you think the first digit started with a one nope are you serious <laughs> is it the first every two minute no so back in the day you had a z50 that ran a three minute and our the tractor ran a five minute I had a Z50 that went three minutes. Yeah, it was really, really slow. Okay. So you ran a two, oh 16, 08. <laughs> okay. And that's a wet lap, so. Very wet. I think we need to do it again. I think you could definitely break into the ones. Oh, definitely. But you're not touching any of this stuff. No, not with that No end. power, yeah, no power. But it's still a lot of fun. It, like I said, it's really playful. It's kind of like uh, an old Miata or something. It's uh. Doesn't have any power, so you just floor it everywhere and you feel like... It's driving a slow car fast instead yeah. of a fast car slow. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you know what? We all beat up on it for a while, and we used, what, eight ounces of fuel? Not much. Yeah, it was awesome. So I totally get why uh, the Ruckuses have a following. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be cool to get our hands on a hop-up kit or a hop-up engine. And you know how we used to do Trail 70 road trips? Yeah. What if we all got some clapped out mopeds and put giant engines on them and road tripped them? Hey. Just I a mean, thought. Let I'm us game. know in the comments. Yeah, I got my ruckus. <laughs> we were talking about a trip to Key West. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. You can get a Tomos and you can get a Gorelli. Oh, I'm thinking of Metropolitan. <laughs> okay. So thanks for tuning into this episode, everybody. Let us know in the comments if you want more Ruckus content. I think we need a hop-up kit for it or a bigger engine. Yeah. Uh, and we will catch you next time. Don't forget, visit cars-cameras.com to pick up some merchandise to help support the channel. Like our classic, it'll be fine, hat. And anytime you place an order, let us know in the order notes and we'll be happy to sign it for birthdays, wedding anniversaries, uh, bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs, graduations. We'll be happy to sign the hats for hip charge. Just let us know in those order notes. We'll catch you next time. That exhaust is plugged up. I wonder if there's any waspers in there. Maybe Maybe, waspers fit in there. maybe we need to get John to stand back here again. Definitely. <laughs> when we start it up. Definitely. But we we like John. We don't want him to get hurt.